It is time for some Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft on the Hermitcraft server. And I hope you are ready. Today we're going to build something really cool that's got some diamonds involved and it's going to be a beauty. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about, I promised, look at this gorgy. I promised that I was going to work on this and boy did I ever. It took so long to get the roofs worked out and, the, and all this. I, I, I pre-build these things in a creative test world just to see how they do and now building it in survival boy is that a difficult thing let's go up a little bit close and take a take a gander at her uh, it's getting there it's not done but there's i mean there's still so much to do with this thing and the main piece it's going to be the most interesting part of this uh is not done yet either we'll see what we get to today the interior of this is very difficult i have an interior planned uh, but boy oh boy it's going to be tough We'll have some rooms on the side, and then we'll have some dividers. You know how I do. We'll take this whole thing and divide it up real nice. Uh, but looks like it's dark out. Let's go to Shreep real quick. I love you, Kratlos, so much. Now, the purpose of this building is to get some height, and we're going to add some more height to it later. Uh, but it's so we can get a view of this beautiful Iron Golem skeleton fossil. Uh, and, and last episode, man, the majority of comments were you guys trying to help. And I thank you so much for that. It was so many people trying to help solve the map problem of getting the map centered. If you don't know, if we do a map of this thing, which I was planning on selling for like something that people could come out, tourists could come out, view this area and, uh, maybe buy a map and take a map and put it up on their, in their, at their house. Uh, but the map only does either the legs or the head. All of the suggestions of uh, try to do it on the head and scale it out and see if it does the whole body, it doesn't. Or try to do the cartography table and scale it out here. That doesn't work. Nothing works. And the reason why is because the way they've coded the maps so that when you put them in item frames, they all connect up. Uh, so unfortunately, the only real solution that some people did give was to rebuild this in a different area where people are making just like map signs and stuff. Speaking of map signs, we've got one over here. Last episode, we met with Iskal, and in exchange for him putting his map sign Sahara branding on the house, we get a functional slime shop. And thank you guys uh, for letting me know the diamonds go in here, in this barrel under here, and here is where you restock. So that's really cool. Um, this, this system is so amazing and we're going to do one diamond in there just for funsies so we can get another. Oh, why? Did I... uh, that is a difficult thing. There we go. Blink, 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 blink. It's so cool. Seven slime box. There they are. And then we restock them. Boom. And then the diamond. Boom. That's our payment area. And it's nice and hidden so people won't come in and thievery. Uh, so that's super, super cool. I'm excited about that. Also, I've been working on some other stuff over here. Maybe we'll take a look at that later. But beyond this, as I was up super high up there building, I noticed something off in the distance. Off in the distance over here, I want to show you. My favorite horses in this game. I love horses. Horses are one of my favorite things in this game. And my favorite ones are the black ones. The brown ones are nice. But boy, oh boy, do I love a nice stallion beauty. Look at this. If you Google most beautiful horse in the world, it's this gorgeous, muscular, beautiful black stallion. Oh, and it's an easy tame. Let's check the speed. Look at this is a fast runner. This is a good one. This is better than smile. Look at all these, though. Look at all these gorgies. I love these black stallions. They're so beautiful. Take some of that sugar. Yes, and love me. Yes. Okay, why not? Ooh, he's a bucker. Okay, yes, you love me quickly. Okay, let's get a saddle on this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take that saddle on. Let's see your speed. Pretty slow. That's a shame because you're a gorgie. But look at this one with the br with the, uh, the white crown. Such a gorgeous. Look at the markings. This white crown. Let's try this one. Excuse me. I'm going to try you. Yes, yes. Okay, and whoops. Okay, and on we go. Oh, you're a wild one. Okay, on I go again. Let's try. Love me. Love me. Do you need more sugar? Oh, you do. Be fast. 
So slowest horse in eternity. Actual slowest horse in ever created. Holy slow. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Give me the saddle back, please. Uh, I'm going to try this pure black stallion. It's, come on. It's up to you. You can do it. You can do it. I'm not looking for a replacement for Smiler necessarily. Good speed on this one. Good speed. Decent. Decent speed. I think this one that we originally tamed was the fastest. Oh, yeah. That's a dangerous hole. This guy was the fastest, though. Like, oh, was it not you? Who was it? Was it this guy up here, then, that I tamed? Must have been. Yeah, nice speed on this one. Okay, well, I want to transfer a lot of these horses into our village. I think I go, oh, you're a wild one. I want to transfer a bunch of these guys into our village. Uh, and, uh, we, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll sell them. We'll breed a nice stock up. Now, good health and good speed, and maybe we could sell them to people uh, because they're going to need these horses to travel in and out of our kingdom. But also, last episode, I made this little well thing. I made this off camera, but, uh, you know, it's nothing super special. I decided I'm going to lower this area, as you can see, and we're going to turn this area into like a little market square where people, some super small little shops where people can kind of, because this is a central area. This is kind of Main Street, Old Town Road right here. And here's Market Street. Sorry, had a little bit of a belch there. And then, uh, yeah, but I think this would be a nice place to draw some attention for people and get some shops in. But just over here, right over in this area, we're going to do something super special today. Okay, we're out here on the outskirts of the village, just slightly. It's going to expand out this way quite a bit. But I want people to travel through the village to get to a place like this because this is going to be super cool. I've hollowed out this little area, uh, just a little bit of a space for a water pool. We're going to go right here and we're going to go down like 15 blocks and we're going to dig straight down. This is dangerous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we survived. That's always so nerve-wracking. I always get so scared. Okay, now let me hollow out a little space in here. Got this place hollowed out, and now, as you can see, my inventory is filled with redstone because it's time for... Redstone with B-dubs! Now, if you're fairly new to me, uh, you might uh, not know what redstone with B-dubs time is. Uh, people think that I'm not very good at redstone. <laughs> Are they crazy? I'm fantastic, and I'll prove it right here. We're going to today make a diamond geyser. A geyser coming up out of the ground that spouts diamonds. And not only just all the time, it's going to happen at random times. Like, a, you know, the, the geysers at Yellowstone? And we'll set up a timer and a controller and all that stuff. So, we've got this. This is easy. Now, check me out. Watch this. I'm going to set up a controller. This is going to... Say, watch this, all right? Whenever something is inside, we're gonna come out. This is a comparator, it compares signals. Whenever something comes out, boom, and then we'll come here, and then bam, and then boom. And what this does is this tells, hey, if there's something inside here, like dirt, for example, it's gonna shoot everything out. And this is a flawless system. And everything will get emptied, and it shoots until everything's gone. That's a flawless system, and I'm so proud of me. So, how are we going to get geysers happening? How are we going to get stuff to geyser on up? Well, let's go up here and go have a look-see, and we'll find out right now, okay? Um, we're going to go in here and actually, hmm, we're going to come up like this, okay? This is step one, and boom, all right? Now we need more water, all right? And then we're going to go here to this infinite water source, which I, I made with two water sources like that. That's redstoning, uh, okay? Then we're going to go here, and... Actually, that's gonna actually we're gonna put this here and then watch this Boom just like the show so we'll just take this up and we'll go up now to the top and watch this now This is a little hard because now I think I gotta put a water source here. Okay, wait Is this just no that's gonna push down so I got lucky for me I put another water source up here smart and we'll just go down and I think what, we did two water sources? Uh oh! Okay, that's fine. And we, one, two, and we put one right there. Sure enough, sure enough we've done it, and I'm drowning! Okay, but we jump out. Now, here we go, and out we go, 
Aha! Perfect. And as you notice, I bounce in this spot. So that tells me, aha! That's where I need to put it. When you see you're bouncing, that's a good indicator that it's time to put a new water source. This is a tutorial helping you. And I'll just float down casually until I start to bounce. And as I bounce, I will then place. And it'll push me up as you see. See how I'm doing this? Casually relax. And I'm bouncing. And boom. And up I rise. And up I rise again. Perfect. Oh, and it's getting violent. Look at it. It's getting very violent now. We're right at the top. This is great. Okay? So now I'm going to fill this in. Boom. Bop, like that. Bow. Boom. Now. I will see now if the geyser is working. Let's let's go down and we will take the items. We'll put them into the dispenser and we will watch. We want... Oh, gosh! Okay, but this is fine. Actually, I'm relaxed about this. Oh, we got, really got to fill this in. All right, and perfect. Grass blocks work just as well if you want to do that. And our redstone is unscathed. So let's put, um, let's put 45 in there and let's go see if we're geysering. We want these items to shoot high into the sky, like eight blocks high is about the limit, I think. And sure enough, the geyser, look at them geyser out. That's wonderful. Oh, yes. This will be diamonds eventually. Okay. But now we've got to set up a system to uh, collect. We want these diamonds to not despawn. We don't want them to despawn and just shoot, keep shooting here and here. We want them to shoot over this way. Uh, so that takes some real redstone trickery by me. Okay, I think this is it. I think. Uh, you, ha you really have to be a master of water flow to be able to do this properly. But let's take this here, and we're going to make a little bit of a... Uh, you know how the geysers will kind of start to rumble. So we'll put a little bit of that right there. Boom, boom. And boom. All right. Now, I think this is great. I think this is wonderful. Now... Okay, what this is going to do, this is just outside of the pusher. So, the, the blow-up thing. So, it's going to... Aha! Perfect! Yes, you saw right there with a the dirt block proving its case. Okay, oh, yes! Okay, give me that, though. Okay, I got it. I think I got it. Let's try it with some diamonds. Let's go down, down here, and let's put some diamonds in, and let's see if we get an idea, and let's see if it's a flawless, perfect system. I've got, like, 30 on me, okay? 31 diamonds. Let's put them in. Let's go up. Let's see the flow. They're all pushing up, and this will be a magical thing. So people can come see the diamonds flowing up, and then if somebody's here at the right time, they can collect it. They can collect the diamonds if they want. Yes. So see, we've got a flawless system. Every single one gets flown into there. And if you look at it from this angle, you know, it looks like they're just shooting straight up out of the sky. It's gorgeous. I love that so much. So... If somebody's here at the right moment, they can hop in and try to get some diamonds before. But if it's running constantly, then they'll be able to get all the diamonds. So we got to set it up on a timer. And this is where my genius comes in. So we've locked this hopper right here. We put some redstone signal into it and it locks all 31 diamonds in there. And how lucky for you guys to have this genius. We're going to put a comparator here now. And this is going to control if there's something in here. It'll leave this open. Okay? So... Here we go, sending a signal in to this, right? So we'll go like this, and we'll bring this down. And I believe, if we're lucky enough, we can go like that. So, if we put something in here, aha. And sure enough, it did on on it, it is good. This matters. This matters. This thing right here. So, you guys just have to trust me, okay? We're going to put a piston. Aha! Now we're talking. We're going to put a piston here. A uh, sticky piston right here, and we're going to put a redstone block right here. So when this sends a signal, bunk, and break enough, then it's going to start. Aha. But something's actually happening that... Is that long? Okay. And sure enough, here we go, guys. Whoops. Okay. This is fine. This is going to be fine. This is working out. This is right. Okay. And actually, what we want to do is we want to come out here and the same thing, uh, same, same thing. We actually could want to, aha, perfect. And just like this is what you want to do. You want to have a repeater coming out and wrap around and send a signal into there. And it's easy. Uh, so let's send that signal here and break it. And sure enough, the system works, right? 
and it'll work. Um, that's still on. This will stay on as long as there's something in here. And as soon as th this empties, right? It's aha, and sure enough, it locks again, and it'll it, it, so it'll shoot all 31, and then lock that up. Okay, so now how how are we going to time this? We want to time this brilliantly, and the way that I decide to time it is I decide to time it. I need to make another repeater. I decide to time it with uh, uh, with a sheep. <clears throat> a sheep will, will uh, be controlling our time. Of, of when this goes off. So we will have actually right here, uh, that will carry a signal, right? And we're gonna put a grass right here. We'll put a grass block right here. Boom, aha, that grass block. The sheep will sit on that grass block and sure enough, it will know. Boom, it will know uh, if it ever eats that grass, uh, it'll, it'll trigger the system to fire. Okay, we're gonna put grass all the way around here so it can regrow uh, for the sheep from time to time. That's gonna be good. And then, uh, this is gonna work. Watch this. Okay, let's fire the system right now. And sure enough, it fired. Now that's a simulation of a, of a, up, and we fired it again by accident. But if the grass grows back, then it will also trigger. Um, so that's wonderful. Now, all we have to do is lure a sheep down here to do our bidding, and we should be in great shape. All right, come here, stupid. This way, you're going to be part of my amazing redstone creation. My geyser that I made. My diamond geyser. And I made a little bit of a spot. I think it's over here. Come on, dummy. Hey, right down this way. Come on down this hole. Perfect, perfect. You're going to love it down here. It's super nice. This, I made a beautiful place for you. Come on. Come on. Very good. Good following. Wonderful job. Good. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's nice down here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on all the way in actually. Okay, let me block that, whoops. Okay, come on, it's nice, don't be scared though. Aha, ha ha ha, ah, aha, and, and totally trapped. Aha, aha, ha. you're trapped, yes, aha. I was kidding about it being nice, you're stuck for eternity. This is perfect, perfect for me. Okay, now, every time he eats, we will have diamond. Well, diamond waterfall, diamond geyser coming up. This is gonna be great. And there he ate, he did it. He did it and geyser it does. Look at that, huh? Then this is just gonna be a surprise for everybody that swings by. They can, if it's going all the time, then people could just ransack the diamonds. I'm gonna put some diamond blocks in there too. Uh, but, and now we wait. So somebody, if they're not patient, you know, if they're not willing to wait and be patient, then they can't get anything. But if they're patient, and maybe if you guys can think of something, we can find a way to like, they could somehow manually trigger it, but it's gotta, it can't be easy. It's gotta be some sort of trick. Uh, but now that I did this mastery of redstone, we have to pretty this place up. So I'm gonna get to work on that, make it real, real beautiful. So it doesn't just look like a hole in the ground. Well, we've got this area prettied up, and we've already got a visitor. Hey, buddy, I see you over there. Yes, yes, yes. He had to stop by and see what was going on, but I've worked out just a little bit of the path. I continued it on in here. We're going to have a lectern, right? The lectern with a map. This is kind of like you... Oh, there it, is. There it goes! There it goes! You saw the diamond. The diamond block. I put three diamond blocks in there, and those pop out first. So if you come late... If you get here late and you just see, whoa, 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 there's diamonds popping out of the ground. Diamond geyser. You, if, you're, if you're not here right when it starts, you're not going to be able to get the blocks. I think that's a nice system. And then it's just single diamonds. Don't go in there again. He keeps getting stuck, stupid idiot. You dummy. Anyway, uh, I think it looks really nice. I've also put like a little map right here. Luckily, this one, I mean, it's not centralized, unfortunately, but you kind of get the idea. It's just like when you go to these national park things that you see uh there's a little thing that you can read so i'm going to put a book here that's just going to explain a little something about the area and people are free to jump in and get diamonds if they're here this is something to draw people into our city it seems like a loss oh you're just giving away diamonds for free but we draw them in 
And then they see the shops and they're like, oh, I want to buy. And then they see they spend the diamonds and hopefully they spend more. But I put some diamond ore around too to kind of just give it a little bit of a look like, yeah, this just place is rich with diamonds. That's why they're just pouring out of the ground. I think that's super cool. So in this area, anytime there's lecterns with books and stuff, that's going to be a signifier that diamonds or something special, some sort of loot is up for grabs. Also, here was a great idea from last episode. Somebody said, and I'm so sorry I forget your name. <laughs> actually, multiple people mentioned this. Uh, such a great idea. I've lowered this well from the beginning of the episode. It was up higher. We've lowered this down to here now. We're going to fill all this in. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, but somebody said, make it a wishing well where people can come and toss a diamond in and their wishes will be granted. So we're going to do that. The concern, here was the concern by people, is that items float in water. And sure enough, truly it's true. Look, this will, whoa, that fling flung down real fast. But look at that went all the way down to the bottom. And it's going to take a little bit of time for it to pop up. It's not going to come right up to the surface right away. So let's get down here. Let's put a hopper right there. Okay. And then, uh-oh, I think B-Dub going to die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, go up. Don't drown. Okay. Okay. All right. Ha. Ah, here we go. Yes, flawless. Okay. Fill that back in. This is not this so deep that the items won't get grabbed in there. Watch this. So if somebody comes up to the well and they make their wish, right? Watch this. It's in there. It's in. So, this is something I'm going to do. People, if they throw a diamond in to this area, then they, and they, I'll put like some paper too. They'll have to throw a diamond in or a, with a book or something with their wish. Where did my thing go? There it is. With a wish. And then I'm going to read those wishes and grant it. I'll grant such wishes if I deem, if I say, you know, not all your wishes come true, right? But if I say yes, so this will say something about the history of the wishing well. Some people, some hermits have seen magnificent wishes come true. They'll say, I wish, I wish that I had the best building ever made. Boom. And they put it in with a piece of paper that says such things. And then I say, oh, I know how to make this best building for them. And then I build it. And I think that's a great idea, you guys. And it does work. The complications that we were worried about, uh, not there. It does work. So I'm super excited about that. I, I think that's going to be awesome. Another thing to draw people in, and especially this, because this is going to be a shopping area with markets and stuff. But, oh, man, we've got some really good stuff going, don't we? We've got the diamond geyser over there. We've got the well. We've got this thing. We we're going to really be able to monetize this iron golem skeleton fossil. I think it is going to be amazing. We are doing some fun Minecraft stuff that's going to bring people in, and they're going to shop, and they're going to buy. I can't wait. Everybody has kind of been away at Minecon, and Corrales has been away, and they're all coming back. So I'm so excited. I won't be alone anymore. Very soon, they'll all be back. But I have a very important question for you guys. Social media. What's your favorite social media platform? You know, I come from the old days. I come from the old days where people just used Twitter. So that's what I've always used to get in touch with people. But what do you guys use now? I've also got Instagram and stuff like that, but I really like to stay in touch with you guys outside of YouTube uh, beyond that. And, and t Twitter has always been the thing. Uh, do you guys use Twitter? If you do, you can follow me over there on Twitter. Uh, if it's Instagram, you can follow me there and I'll, I'll really start using that more. I haven't been using Instagram as much as I really uh, maybe should. Uh, but what's your favorite me social media platform? I'm going to put a poll on the video. It's in the top left Top right hand corner. Whoopsie, <laughs> stupid. Uh, but anyway, fill that out for me so I can know what's the best way that we can stay in touch after these videos are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the love you guys have been sending. Leave a like on it for me if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're brand new or if you haven't yet. And we'll see you in the next episode.